Hey, well, it's Loving Universe, it's Xander, and welcome back to WWE 2K Universe Mode. We are here on the final episode of Monday Night Raw before our second ever Backlash pay-per-view, which will be going live this Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. British Standard Time, I believe. Might be 4, not really sure how Daylight Savings will affect our time zones. Hey, you will know what time it is when the time comes. We're kicking the show off with tag team action. We've got the original bro, Matt Riddle of the team, the Limitless Bros, making his way to the ring. Matt Riddle, of course, last week had to battle his good friend Keith Lee in a number one contenders match for the United States Championship. Riddle came up short on that night last week, but he is still supporting his friend, his brother in arms, against the Monday Night Messiahs because in just a few nights' time this weekend on Saturday, Keith Lee, the Limitless One, will be challenging Buddy Murphy of the Monday Night Messiahs for the United States Championship. So Matt Riddle makes his way to the ring. And his tag team partner is, as I said, the number one contender to the United States Championship. Limitless Keith Lee. And to answer your questions, no, we will not be giving him his updated theme. His updated theme sucks. As here comes Keith Lee to the ring. Keith Lee has only been on Raw for a month now. Out next, it is the United States Champion, the Disciple, Murphy. Murphy, of course, the man to end Aleister Black's undefeated streak at WrestleMania, capturing the United States Championship. Uh, a championship victory nobody saw coming on that night. Buddy Murphy won the new United States Championship. Of course, the championship design changed at WrestleMania, and Murphy makes his way to the ring tonight as champion. And his partner is the self-professed Monday Night Messiah, a fan favorite amongst you guys in the LS11 universe. Very, he's a very divisive figure in the LS11 universe. It's about a 50-50 split nowadays. A lot of you guys love him, a lot of you guys hate him. It's very, very strange. Interesting to see how many he's converted to his side. The Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins, making his way to the ring. Of course, if you remember the night after WrestleMania, Rollins came down here and cut a promo. He told everyone he was going to make Murphy lay down for him, and Seth Rollins was going to be the United States Champion. But that clearly did not happen. Keith Lee and Matt Riddle stopped that from happening. And so Rollins has tried to turn the best friends against one another. Instead, getting working with general manager Damian Sandow to put them against one another last week. And it almost worked. But, you can see tonight, they're on the same page once again. Tag team against the Messiahs. So it's going to be Matt Riddle and Murphy starting it off. A rematch from the night after WrestleMania. Here we go. Oh, Riddle starts off with a kick. Murphy with a right hand. And another. Murphy with Riddle now. Off the ropes. Murphy. Knee strike. Or, excuse me, that was a kick. The angling there that I could see on my monitor was a little bit off. As now Matt Riddle knocked in the ropes. Murphy went for a kick. Murphy gets kicked in the knee. And now Riddle 
He's got that MMA background on his side. He grabs Murphy, picks him up, and whoa, drills him into the mat. Down goes Murphy. And now Murphy picks, picks back up. Riddle gets hit with a right hand. Murphy with a drop kick. Of course, on the night after WrestleMania in that tag team match, Keith Lee pinned Murphy in that tag team match and then pinned Seth Rollins the very next week. But Murphy and Rollins, they've got to get on the same page as well. They put Riddle up on the top rope and Murphy and Rollins up top. What are they thinking here? Back body drop together off the top rope. And now Seth Rollins standing over Matt Riddle just teasing him. Telling him to tag his partner. And then punching Keith in the face for it. And now Rollins picks Riddle back up to his feet. Rollins went for a drop kick. Riddle out of the way. Tag made and Keith Lee is in. Rollins. Oh, he's getting the hell out of there. I can't say I blame him. Keith Lee is a terrifying individual. Murphy hits him with that knee strike. Murphy manages to throw the number one contender over the top. Oh, Keith Lee with a kick. Keith Lee, such an agile big man. It's amazing. Keith Lee is just so great to watch as well. He's someone that I've had my eye on for a while here in Universe Mode. He went missing for a few months due to an injury, but when he came back, I mean, first thing he did when he came back was eliminate Brock Lesnar from the Royal Rumble and then beat him at WrestleMania. So, he's someone you got to watch out for. And Murphy is definitely going to have to watch out for him this weekend at Backlash. As Keith rolls him to the center of the ring, and Keith Lee... Right across the mouth of the Disciple. And again. Keith Lee. Grabs Murphy now. Throws him in the corner. And Keith Lee. Grabs him. No, Murphy counters Murphy. Rolls Keith Lee through. One. Two. Whoa, Keith kicks it. Oh my god. Keith with a jackknife cover. One. No. Whoa. Murphy. Backslides the big man. One. No. Keith starting to get back up. Murphy with a knee to the mouth. Oh, and Keith Lee right back to his feet, though. Murphy, you're going to pay for that one, son. Oh, but Mur oh, no way. Murphy. Oh, Keith Lee's fighting out. Keith Lee. Fought out of the power bomb. And Murphy goes down again. And now Keith picking Murphy back up to his feet. And Keith Lee grabs Murphy. Murphy throws him in the corner. Murphy now just taunting Keith Lee. Oh, left hook from Murphy. That's the thing about Murphy. Murphy. The only reason that he might not look as good right now is because he's in the ring with Keith Lee. And Keith Lee just makes everyone look like they're significantly worse in the ring because Keith Lee is just that good. Oh, but Matt Riddle tags in. And now Riddle and Murphy back at it. Riddle with a kick. Riddle's grabbed Murphy. Riddle gets caught. Murphy, right hand. And now Riddle trying to get back to his feet. Murphy with another knee strike. And now Buddy Murphy picks Matt Riddle up, and Murphy. Clothesline. And another. What's Murphy thinking here? Ducks Riddle. Off the ropes. Tilts a whirl. Backbreaker. And now Riddle. In trouble. Murphy went for a running knee. Riddle slams him into the mat. And now Riddle with a kick to the back. Matt Riddle now. No. Murphy counters. Knee strike. And now Buddy Murphy picks Matt Riddle up. Kicks him in the ribs. Murphy. Takes him down. Hooks the leg. One. Two. Keith's there. Oh, and Seth Rollins takes out Keith Lee. Keith is out. Riddle. Riddle. Thrown in the corner of the Messiahs again. Tag made. Rollins is back in. They're going to do it again. They put Riddle up top. And there's a big body drop. Rollins now. Standing, standing moonsault. And another. And now Rollins picks Riddle up and Seth Rollins... Drop kick to Matt Riddle. 
Picks him up now. Matt Riddle, though, counters. Riddle with a shoulder block. Riddle now picks Rollins back up to his feet. And Matt Riddle grabs Rollins. Rollins rolls through. Toe hold. Drop toe hold takes him down. And now Rollins. Right hand to Riddle. Rolling forearm decks the original bro. And now Rollins trying to keep Riddle away from Lee. Rolls him through. Super kick from Rollins. Oh, and Rollins gets Keith Lee out of there. Rollins getting Keith Lee out of the equation. Kick to Matt Riddle. And Seth Rollins with the stomp to Riddle. And Murphy with a kick to Keith Lee. The Monday Night Messiahs are your winners. The Limitless Bros unable to beat the Messiahs while the Messiahs are on the same page. Night after WrestleMania was a little strange for them. They were caught off guard that night, but in the end... By the way, the fact Murphy was able to pick Keith Lee up at a powerbomb is just a testament to the strength of Murphy. The United States Champion put in work tonight, though, but in the end, the Monday Night Messiah gets the pin with a stomp to the original bro, and now Rollins and Murphy back on the same page. I believe that's their first ever win as a tag team. Of course, they had the, uh, the former members of the Messiah. It's down to just these two now. Either way, we're going to see what's going on with the rest of Monday Night Raw. So we just had that amazing opening tag team contest there. In more tag team action, the war the Viking Raiders knocked off the Forgotten Sons. Charlotte Flair knocked off Billy Kay. Of course, Flair will be in the triple threat match against Beth Phoenix and one other opponent. We'll find that later tonight. Actually, up next. Elias gets the win. Or, wow, Elias with an upset over Killian Dane. Up next, it's going to be Rhea Ripley versus Selena Vega versus Asuka. What do, you, what do you mean we don't have cameras back there? Why wouldn't we have a camera back there? There's cameras everywhere around here. There's a camera behind my announce desk. Uh, I gotta go back to calling the match. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry that you had to hear all of that. Rhea Ripley has been found unconscious backstage, and there's no cameras back there to show her but for some reason, but someone has attacked Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley is not going to be able to compete in this matchup. She's unconscious. It is just going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup between Zelina Vega and Asuka. Someone does not want Rhea Ripley in that triple threat match on Saturday. If you remember, the night after WrestleMania, during the draft, when Rhea Ripley arrived to Raw, she got right up in the face of Ronda Rousey, and Rousey backed down. Something tells me this has got to be a ploy on the part of Heyman and Rousey to get Rhea Ripley as far away from Rousey's title as possible. So here comes the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka... I apologize that this matchup had to change last minute. It was unexpected, that's for sure. I was, I was excited to see Rhea Ripley's Raw debut, in-ring debut. Well, I suppose she had that match on the night after WrestleMania, but I was excited to see Rhea Ripley versus Asuka in this matchup, and Zelina Vega as well. So here we go. It's going to be Asuka and Vega. Winner gets Beth Phoenix and Charlotte in the triple threat at, at Backlash. Here we go. Asuka with a drop kick. And a neck breaker. Down goes Selena Vega. Vega, of course, a former number one contender to the Raw Women's Championship, has challenged for it multiple times in universe mode. In fact, took Becky Lynch to the limit for it a year ago at Backlash. And we now know Becky Lynch is actually going to be fighting for a championship at Backlash over on the SmackDown brand. And Vega puts the boot to the back of Asuka. For a kick. Asuka out of the way. Asuka. German suplex to Zelina. Picks her right back up. Asuka. No. Vega. Counters. And now Asuka grabs Zelina Vega. And Asuka slams her into the mat. Stacks her up. One. Vega again kicks out. The kick out so impactful. Asuka did a backflip. And now Asuka with a drop kick. And a kick to the back. And now Asuka... Takes her down. Crucifix cover. 
No, Zelina Vega kicked the ropes. Good strategy there, whether it was intentional or not on the part of Zelina. And now Asuka firing away with some rapid kicks here. And one more to the head. Asuka picks her back up now, and Asuka went for another counter from Zelina. Zelina Vega now throws her in the corner. Vega, forearm strike, takes down, takes down Asuka. Picks her back up to her feet now, and Asuka in trouble. Vega, knee into the back of Asuka. And down goes Asuka. Vega now picks her up, and Vega grabs Asuka. Asuka, right hand in the mouth. And Vega. Oh, Asuka finds the counter. Vega, I think, was looking for a hurricane around that. And Asuka just continually finding the counter here. Asuka with a sliding hip attack into the cover. One. Two. No. Zelina Vega showing her resilience tonight. As Asuka now calling up Zelina. Asuka. What's she thinking here? Grabs Vega into the Asuka lock. Asuka lock is in and it's in tight. And Zelina Vega is going to tap out. Asuka is going to the triple threat match at Backlash. Asuka with the win, so now we know. We now know that at Backlash it will be Beth Phoenix versus Asuka versus Charlotte Flair with the winner getting Ronda Rousey at Money in the Bank in a month's time. What a card we've got stacking up at Backlash as well. But ladies and gentlemen, up next it is the main event. We're going to see one half of Tag Team Champions Kevin Owens take on one half of the challengers in James Drake. So without any further ado, we're going to move on to our main event. A big win for Asuka. Main event up next. As here comes the prize fighter, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions. We saw his tag team partner Sami Zayn taken out last week by Lars Sullivan. Here comes Kevin Owens. Kind of strange to see Owens with tag team gold over his shoulder, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel strange? I say that because it's almost hard to hard to believe Kevin Owens trusts someone long enough to be tag team champion. I don't know, Kevin Owens does seem to have turned over a new leaf since Universe Mode. As Owens makes his way to the ring, he and Zayn do defend those Raw Tag Team titles against the grizzled young veterans on Saturday. Owens makes his way to the ring. Here come the Grizzled Young Veterans. You can see Raw General Manager Damian Sandow in their corner tonight. Imagine that. Sandow brought in GYV as Hitman of sorts the night after WrestleMania where they took out Zayn and Owens. And he's gifted them a Raw Tag Team title match the same way he's gifted Lars Sullivan a WWE title match on Saturday. GYV have made their way to the ring. James Drake in action tonight, though. Many were shocked to see GYV appear on the night after WrestleMania. A lot of people thought they were going to be NXT bound when they eventually showed up here in Universe Mode. But here they are on Monday Night Raw instead. Jumping straight to the red brand. It's going to be Kevin Owens and James Drake in our main event. Without any further ado, let's get the matchup underway. They lock up. Drake gets the arm of Owens. Wrenching it in. Owens turning it around, though. Kevin Owens pushed him back on the arm of Drake. And James Drake counters now. Grabs Owens by the back. And Drake, oh, wrenching that arm back. Trying to snap the arm, potentially. 
Kevin Owens slips out of it though, and Kevin Owens now turning it around on James Drake. And now Drake turns it around, has Owens now on the mat. And James Drake wrenches back on the arm of Kevin Owens. Super kick from Owens lashes out on Drake though. Now Kevin Owens putting a boot into the ribs of James Drake. Drake goes down. And went for a kick, Owens. Get chop him. And now Kevin Owens just firing away on James Drake who counters with the right hand. And now James Drake grabs Owens, takes him down. Cover. One. Two. No. Owens kicks out. You gotta keep in mind, Kevin Owens is a former challenger for world championships in universe mode. He's not gonna be an easy man to defeat. Like He's not gonna go down like he's nothing. And Owens now taking down James Drake, picking him back up to his feet. Owens. Kicking the ribs. Right hand. And another. Kevin Owens. Put it, pushing him towards the corner. Headbutts him. Owens went for a kick. And now Drake turns him around. Drake. Oh, look at this. Hurricane run on the Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens goes down. And now Kevin Owens. Shoulder block to James Drake. Picks up. And Drake counters. Now with an arm drag to Owens. Right hand takes down KO. And now Drake dragging Owens away from the ropes. And James Drake, elbow strike to Kevin Owens. Another kick. And another. And now Kevin Owens back to his feet. Owens, back body drop, taking down Drake. Owens picks him back up to his feet. Owens, oh, what a clothesline from KO. And now Kevin Owens shoves him down. A uh, fun little side note here. We can learn a little bit about me during this matchup. My stepdad's initials are KO, so it's hard to call Kevin Owens that. And oh, James Drake! Hand scissor take down to Kevin Owens! And now Kevin Owens pulling himself up into the corner. Owens back to his feet. Drake get, grabs him. Owens, right hand! And another! And went for a third. James Drake puts him in the corner. Drake now grabs him. Owens counters. Owens! Throws James Drake in the corner. Clotheslines him in the back. And now Owens picks up the grizzled young veteran. Grabs him. Pulls him in. Pump handle. Neck breaker from Owens. Cover. One. Two. No. James Drake kicks out. Oh, now Gibson. What well, if you hit Gibson shoes off? I don't wear shoes, so I hate him. What a... I don't wear shoes. As now Kevin Owens picks up James Drake and... Plants him in the mat. And Owens slips out of the ring now. Oh! Just shoves down Zach Gibson. And now Owens stalking Drake. Went for a right. Owens knocks him into the corner. Counter from James Drake. And now Drake with Owens... Throws him across the ring. You can see the Raw GM Damian Sandow now. Owens, you don't want to hit him. You might lose your job. Owens! Stunner! Cover! Oh, and Sandow distracting the referee. Owens had the thing won. Well, Kevin Owens knows that you don't just leave someone alone if they if you've if they've been if the if you had a beat moonsault attempt and James Drake got the knees up. I was going to say, Owens knows that if you've got someone beat, you don't just get off of them because you got because the referee was distracted. You keep on attacking them. You put them down. Owens grabs Drake again. Another pump handle. Neck breaker. Oh, now Sandow distracting Owens. Sandow in the face of Kevin Owens now. James Drake pulling himself up in the corner. Kevin Owens. Clothesline. No, James Drake sidestepped him. Seen a great performance from James Drake tonight. Putting in his all against a former world champion challenger in Kevin Owens. Former world title contender in Kevin Owens. Best way to put that one. As now Owens picks Drake back up to his feet. Pushes him off. And now Drake with Owens. Into the corner. Here comes James Drake. Went for a drop kick. Owens countered. Owens gets kicked in the knees. And grabbed again by James Drake, who throws him into the corner. And James Drake now turns Kevin Owens around. Kevin Owens in some trouble here. 
James Drake off the middle rope. Grabs Owens. Tornado DDT connects. Into a cover. One. Two. Oh, Kevin Owens kicks out. Kevin Owens gets the shoulder up. And now Drake picking up Owens and James Drake. DDT to Kevin Owens. And now he's going up to the top rope. Kevin Owens is down. Drake. 450 splash countered from Kevin Owens. And now Drake grabs Owens. And James Drake with Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens countering. Owens with some elbow strikes, knocks him back. And now Owens kicks him in the ribs. Sends him off the ropes. Pop up. Powerbomb. Oh, and again a distraction. Referee getting distracted once again by the Raw GM, Damian Sandow. And he kind of has to let Sandow. Owens going to go for another pop-up powerbomb. One, two, three. And three is the magic number for Kevin Owens tonight. A big win for Kevin Owens. Owens puts down Drake tonight, earns some momentum for himself and Sami Zayn heading into Backlash. Big win for Kevin Owens. Oh, and Lars Sullivan pounces on Kevin Owens. The hitman of Damian Sandow laying out another man that Sandow can't stand. Lars Sullivan with the freak accident. Lars Sullivan lays it into Kevin Owens tonight with the freak accident. Owens was standing tall. Representing his friends Sami Zayn and Finn Balor have been taken out over the last couple weeks. And now the man who challenges Finn Balor at Backlash stands tall. Ladies and gentlemen, Lars Sullivan stands tall tonight. It's despicable, I know. He's despised among the LS11 universe. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you for NXT. And then SmackDown and then Backlash. I've been Xander. That was my recording schedule for the day, and this has been Universe.